What's up, guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to our North Texas Dynasty. Alright, so this week we got a big matchup against Texas. And it's not just because they're the last great team we have to face in the regular season. On paper, we're better than them. We've won two out of the four matches with them so far. This is number five. And this is it. We are not going to play them in the regular season after this. This is going to be the last matchup. So not only are we trying to get our revenge on them, but this is it. We have to win the series. Maybe later on we'll take them on in like a bowl game or something like that. Something out of my control. But for right now, this is it. This is all I'm planning on playing them in. The upside of playing Texas is that the green of our fans really pops out. There's a hundred bajillion people in this stadium, and I can still see every North Texas fan. Nice over pursuit, nerd. Oh, seriously? Even against Texas we can do this? Oh, big miss tackle. 57 was running out ahead. And that's it. That's the record. 109. It says up at the top 108, but in the bottom it just said 109. That's it. Not only does Weber have the record for the longest return, no one can ever break that. Ever. And that's why I will let him take it out from wherever he wants. It's actually frustrating with Weber running these kicks back. Not because I'm going to complain about a free score, basically, but because he keeps doing what I'm trying to set up. Like the narrative of the episode or whatever. <laughs> He's just like, no, I'm going to interrupt your talking with a touchdown. And down for a sack. That's Meadows with it. Uh, Dodson still needs eight sacks, and he's got essentially three regular season games. Hopefully, we don't choke, so we should have a conference championship and in the bowl game. So, it, it, he should have five games to get eight sacks, which means he's going to have to average more than one. Oh, uh, did we just get them? No, we stopped them just short. They needed 15, they got 14. All right, can we not throw massive picks today? Thank you, Mitchell. I'm really sick and tired of throwing all these picks with Emil. He still technically has more touchdowns and interceptions, but it's a joke that he's that barely ahead and he's supposed to be that good of a quarterback. So it's going to be a little bit more running early in the game. Usually I just throw the ball for like the first three drives and then start running later. Oh, another big snag by Mitchell. I got to try running it. But they have been pretty good at stacking the line. Yeah, see, they got five on five. Actually, no, six on five. Oh, just barely couldn't get in. We actually almost converted that anyways. Oh, damn. Yeah, see, I want to get the ball going, but their linebackers are still really good. A lot of the other overpowered guys are gone, but that doesn't make their linebackers any worse. There we go. There's a the matchup. My offensive lineman can go one-on-one -on -one with their D lineman and linebackers, and all I gotta worry about is a safety. That's good enough for me to get one yard. I blew my zone. Yeah, these guys are still really good. Like, okay, I shut them down for zero yards there, but they've been moving the ball really well. Haven't even faced a third down on this drive. Their halfback's tired. Go ahead, give it to Ah, uh, Dodson ran right past. And he dropped it. Actually, look like it bounced right off his thigh. Oh, well, that should force a field goal attempt. There's a nice run. All right, we got to worry about Hardy getting his Heisman. We should have no problem with it whatsoever. We are 20 yards behind the league leader in uh, rushing yards. But we're, like, tripling him up in touchdowns. But as we've seen in this game before, that doesn't matter. Headed into the second quarter, we're up 14-3, to three, but we got a critical third in inches right here. All right, I'm real tempted to go to four verts, but I'm trying to play it safe. Also, that's Joey Millage and not a wide receiver. Oh, that guy went for the swat and missed it. Mitchell with another big game. Ooh, Hardy catches it, but again gets clean. Like his clock completely cleaned. You can't match up Marvin Harris on a linebacker. Come on, guys. 
Harris still caught it. That was a lame duck throw, but he was at that much separation for him. If I had set my feet, that would have been an even easier touchdown, but he still made it work. We had no one around us. I felt the pressure coming. Oh, that was a perfect time for a blitz. Ah, oh, <laughs> we would have had a pick, but they fought over it. Michael Bond's looking at his first career pick. There, okay. I was going to bail on that one, but I managed to see Hardy just get enough separation for that. Oh, thank you for clearing out the middle on a, uh, on a middle slants. I keep trying to call some plays that I've never called before. Maybe that'll help us out. Although, this blitz on a PA... No, 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 no. A blitz on play action is never good. By the time we're done with the play action, they will already be on top of us. Oh, Hardy dropped it. Should have gone over the top to Marvin Harris, honestly. All right, I've never seen this one before. Could be interesting. Oh, it's a fade. On a zone. I feel like it's a bad idea. But we'll try it. Not nah, underthrown completely. 64-yard field goal. Uh, no, nah, that's way... I mean, maybe next year for Bracken, but this year, it ain't time. Yeah, there we go, Simpson. All right. Fourth and nine is risky, but I, I don't want to punt the ball yet. I want to keep going aggressive. This team still scares me. We're up 18 points, and I still feel like we're going to blow this lead. Nice blitz. Good moves, Hardy. Got to pick my spots for a run. This looks okay. I know it's a weird time to say it when they're stacked up the middle, but... Yeah, when they're stacked up the middle like that, they're just going to run into each other. So if I can find a lane, which I did there, good run. And perfect blocking up the middle. That went by too quick, but Scott Hardy looks like he just set the record for most career rushing touchdowns in all of NCAA. Because I saw a Wisconsin running back pop up there. All right, they got two minutes left. They get the ball to start. So all I'm really asking is only to give up one touchdown out of the next two drives. Come on, Roden. Oh, no, I got the bystander glitch. Dang it. This is why I keep saying... I think I've said it more in the other Dynasty, but I tr I'm trying to get better at not switching. Had I just let Roden do his thing, that could have been a pick. That could have at least been a pass deflection. But I got greedy. I wanted to try and get the glory for myself. And now they're in the red zone. On one play. What I love is they're taking timeouts like there's 30 seconds left, and there's still a minute 43. Ah, oh, there's a touchdown mm. for him. Well, the upside is they left us enough time where maybe we can get another score before the half. Oh my god, they seriously missed the PAT. So they're going to be going for two next time they get a touchdown. <laughs> Weber, just... you, I can't keep giving you the thumbnails, my guy. I can't keep giving you the thumbnails. But it's actually more impressive you're doing it against Texas, of all teams. Like, it's nice that you're getting all these touchdown returns. You know, Duke, you take it back in the beginning of the game... And you can dust every other crappy team, but you're doing it against Texas. I think we're cementing our case here as the Kings of Texas. Who else is even eligible? We've already stopped Texas A&M, and we're better than the last time we played them. Oh, Bautista with the tight coverage. That lets... Who got... Oh, Tex Black got in there on the blitz. Everyone getting sacks, except for Dotson. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. That would have been funny if he got it all in one season, but I don't think it's happening now. Oh, the game's freezing on me a little bit here. That's not good. I don't know who I'm supposed to be covering. Ooh! I wasn't sure who I was supposed to be covering. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Take the dump off. Oh, I think he got out of bounds. Whoop. Went the wrong way. They're going to take one more shot at the end zone, it looks like. They still got a timeout. Oh, got him in the corner. I thought they were about to run the clock out on themselves, but... I shouldn't have played the same defense, so I should have played a man defense there. 
Um, no, not this time. Going into the half, up 35-16, but again, it we have that point differential, but I'm still scared. Read option. Come on, Abrams, get him down. Thank you. All right, if they're telling me to watch for the option play, then I'm going to bring Abrams on a blitz. Good job, Murphy. Good job sticking with your man. Oh, good swat at the last second. He had his hands on it. BJ Lewis swatted that out of his hands. All right. So we did stop him at least once. That's what I wanted. They got an extra drive in there than what I thought, but I wanted at least one stop and we got it. Oh yeah, Mitchell open on the out route. He's having a pretty good game so far. Might be his career high. Please stop standing on my tight end. Oh my god, they left Peter Smith wide open. I don't think I've ever thrown it to anyone else on that play. Outside of Alberting and now Lane. Oh, good job picking up that blitzer. That almost got blown up for a loss. Coach wants a triple option. Run it at the Colt Hoopin? I don't know about all that. Oh, I should have kept it with Emil. I also started running the wrong way at the beginning of that play. And Hardy in for a receiving touchdown now. I know I said I wanted to keep running the ball more today. But with those linebackers, it's just, it's not as easy as it usually is. We're still averaging like 5.6 or something. But I'm just going to pass the ball whenever I can. And hey, no interceptions, no turnovers so far. Knock on wood. Oh, we're getting beat. If they would go over the top more, they would kill us. Oh, I had tight coverage over there. Toss that for zero yards. Good job, guys. Oh, they almost threw that right to Tex Black. He got a deflection off that, but he almost had the pick. Finally starting to flash some of that potential I know he's got. It's tough. Middle linebacker is a flashy spot. Right outside linebacker, you're supposed to come in for blitzes, but I try not to do that too much. Left outside linebacker, you see the field three times a game. I was going to go for a counterplay, but look at this defensive front. This looks like eight yards. Oh, I cut the wrong way. That was still six, though. Perfect. Good adjustment by the D-line there. I don't want to run shoe clock just yet. I want to give myself time to screw this up. I know that sounds weird, but it's not as fun if I just get up a lead and then start chewing clock immediately. I'd rather give myself a shot to screw it up like that. Oh, Hardy with the drop. Damn it. Oh, oh, Dotson missed the sack. I mean, he was crawling on the ground, but we almost got it. That was a stupid, stupid pass. They've actually gained more yards than us because we got two touchdowns off of Weber. We'd have the lead either way, but... That shows you how big a difference he can make. Not that you didn't know that already. All right, that'll wrap up the third quarter. We're up 42-16. I think now I'm going to start chewing some clock. Mitchell again with a big catch. Yeah, okay, see, now we can start pouring it on running the ball. Yeah, look at the... This is the defense they play when they know we're going to run the ball. Now 11 yards, 12 yards, that's it. Scott Hardy finally hits 100 yards. Our average up to 6.9. Joey Millage, can you pick up the first down? Oh, he can pick it up and then some. What I like about our recruiting is I'm not afraid of anyone declaring for the draft early. In fact, I'm kind of rooting for it. Like, I would love Emil... Come on, hurry up. Okay. I'd love Emil to declare early. Uh, if Scott Hardy wins a Heisman this year, I wouldn't mind him declaring early either. Because we've got backups who I'd like to get some time. If Scott Hardy wins a second national championship, a Heisman, he has all the career rushing records besides the yardage. I mean, he's already got the touchdown record. What else do you need? There's another t touchdown for him. That puts him up to three on the game. I don't even know how many for the season he's got. He's got to be pushing 40 by now. We got all the backups in. We chewed most of the fourth quarter on that last drive. So that's probably about the end of what you'll see today.
Okay, that one was pretty ridiculous. If you're ever wondering whether or not I play on Heisman, he just ran backwards like 15 yards, threw it on the run, and still got a massive completion. Again, against our backups, but still. All right, that was a good one for us. Ten consecutive wins. Scott Hardy with player of the game. Again, Weber, two kick return touchdowns, but not enough without the punt return touchdowns, I guess. All right, so the stats on the day. Eric Emile goes 20-32, 231 yards, two touchdowns, zero picks. And then Kevin Shaw went 3-6 for 37 yards and a pick. Scott Hardy, 19 carries, 124 yards, three touchdowns, one broken tackle. Joey Millage, one for 12 yards. Tupin had one for two. Receiving Mitchell, five catches, 89 yards. Good game by this guy. Deontay Simpson, five catches for 35 yards. Harris, five for 41 and a touchdown. Scott Hardy, four for 52 and a touchdown. Tupin, two for 26. Lane, one for 12. And Peter Smith, one for 13. Simpson with two pancakes. Billy Bob with two pancakes. Serafino with a pancake. David Mitchell with a pancake. Bonds led the day with seven tackles. Abrams and Bautista each had five apiece. Stewart and Garbage Time with two TFLs. Murray had a TFL. Meadows, Bautista, Black, Murphy, and Hagen all with one each. Meadows, Murray, and Black all with sacks today. Dotson shut out completely. That career, season, all that stuff, I don't think those touch or, uh, sack records are going to be happening for him now. Tex Black and Michael Bonds both with the pass deflections on the day. No interceptions, no forced fumbles. Weber, four kick returns, 261 yards, and two touchdowns. Casey recovered an onside kick. Weber also had 49 yards on two punt returns. And that's that. We're done playing Texas. We smoked them pretty well. I mean, we beat them last year when they were at their best, so we, sh we basically just kicked them when they were down. That's it. We're done with them. I think we're going to move on to new Texas rival. Pretty sure you guys already know who it is. It's going to be Texas A&M if you haven't pieced it together. Now, we did smash Texas A&M back when we were still only, like, kind of good. Not even that good. So, I don't know what we could do to them this year, but we're going to find out next season. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. If you want to nickname any of these incoming recruits, please leave that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.